Walking around New York, you are constantly bombarded by the complete timeline of birth, life, and death of buildings. For me, a building is an experience, a connection. My current body of work focuses on decay, not just formally as it relates to gravity and age, but also from a visceral standpoint as it relates to history and experience itself. In my work, I really focus on capturing the third dimension. And I find it really interesting how dimensions are transferred and transposed from a 3D to a 2D and work hard to create that illusion. What really makes the allograph interesting to me as a printmaker is, and as a painter is that I could really look at geometric forms through another dimension. And that dimension really comes through in a real and an immediate way. Even though I'm working in a traditional medium on the base plate, the thought process is that at some point it would be digitized so I could then push that medium further. I'm working on an allograph print with Alta, and the first step is to receive a base plate that you are able to work with as a mark making medium. I incorporate a lot of non traditional materials such as plaster or concrete into my work and having thought from the beginning about the ability to exaggerate and elevate three-dimensionality. It was really interesting to create the plate with that thought process in mind that then will be digitized and manipulated in using digital technologies. There is an opportunity to work with a master printmaker to further accentuate and develop certain specific areas because they provide the support, the encouragement, and the resources to realize the vision that I had, which was this notion that three-dimensionality could work in, in a new and interesting way in a two-dimensional medium, and therefore it's this sort of hybrid uh, two-and-a-half dimension that's really exciting. And I think that's very unique to, this, to the allograph process because it allows you this almost infinite uh, iterations um, that, that could happen in the computer, parts of which then you can print this is the, uh, one of the first proofs of the allograph print. You know, it was really exciting to receive it. It really captured a lot of the areas that I would uh, envisioned, especially in areas like this, where you see these receding perspective lines that are vanishing points that are, also have varying depths. For me, that was really important to see because there's one thing to visualize what something would look like that, that incorporates various different steps and techniques all into one, but when you actually see it come together, it's extremely exciting because it does actually go beyond a relief or beyond a raised or dimensional object because it's really, each step has worked well together to engage one another. Providing the artist with the ability to think about their work in a different way, uh, to engage with printmaking in a different way, to engage with painting and drawing in a different way, but then also realize something completely new and, and innovative with the allograph print itself that, that is really, really exciting, especially now that we are entering a space now that we could really start thinking about how we transcend above and beyond certain physical limitations, having the ability to manipulate digitally.